Peace, peace, family. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, do me the favor of hitting that post notification bell and selecting all. That way you will be notified every time we go live or every time we upload a video on this platform, okay? If anything that I say does resonate with your situation in any way, form, or fashion, do not hesitate to donate to the channel, man. You could do so by leaving super stickers and all donations will go back to the growth of the channel. I do got some things coming, man, and I'm asking that y'all aid and assist me, man, along the way, if you can, because I know everybody cannot afford it, man. Also, for those of you who are looking for readings, man, get down to the description area, email me at the email address that's listed below, leave your name, your number, and the best time to reach out uh, to you. If we don't get it done that day, we will schedule a day for you to get it done, all right? But without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this. Yeah, 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 spirit, talk to me. Yeah, spirit, talk to me. What we need to know? Hmm? Can we get something from this? Uh. I feel like, man, you need to be light, man. Spirit said, be light. Be, oh, be the light. Okay, I apologize. Spirit said, be the light. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, man, it's time for you to like be the light that you are, man, okay? Whoever you are, man, it's time for you to really, really like step into your power right now. This is what spirit is saying, okay? You need to be like the divine person that you are. You need to walk in your divinity is what I'm getting from this, okay? Somebody is very powerful, man. Like, I feel like, man, like, like when I say that, man, like you very in the, you you're very experienced in what it is that you do okay and you do have like a bloodline like a, a a divine bloodline that you connected to and it's like you very powerful you feel me um i feel like you had this from somebody and it could be to the point of like where you ready to like take off the mask to be just show people who it is that you really are you know what i'm saying it's almost as if like you had this for people you afraid of what people might think you know what i'm saying um and, and, and I feel like at this point, like you to the point of where you almost want to like uh, just show people. You tired of having it. Talk to your spirit. But spirit say, man, you most definitely need to be the light that you were intended to be, man. I keep telling y'all, as chosen ones, you ain't come down here for nothing. You made an agreement. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why it's important for you to get out and go find your, uh, your purpose. Because you made an agreement. Somebody say, I volunteered. Because, see, a lot of y'all don't know, bro. Like, the reason you're going through what you're going through is because you volunteered for something. You come from a royal bloodline. Now it's time for you to be the light. It's time for you to be the light. Spirit, talk to me. What else we need to know about this situation? Spirit say, step into your power, man. Somebody say, I'm stepping into my power in the comment section. Man. I feel like, man, like, you not, you not in that, like, energy of like being connected to the to like the all power right now you know to the higher power right now i feel like like you know you afraid to connect to the higher power you see what i'm saying i don't know if it's like you almost i'm getting energy it's like man somebody man is just yeah i feel like somebody man is like i feel like you're not taking heed to some type of counsel that somebody is giving. And, and it could be that you ain't even, I feel like uh, it could be that you ain't even, like you're not even listening to the counsel that the Most High is giving you right now. You like, you, you're not doing what the, what the, what the Most High assigns you to do. Like, I don't get on here. I don't know about everybody else, man, but speaking for myself, when I come on here, man, I'll be 100% like, Truthful when I'm telling you that you are like more than who it is that you think you are. Some of y'all really do have gifts. You dream that and through those dreams you predict things. You know, this ain't nothing that you went conjured up. This is something that you've been doing since you was a child. So you're naturally this way. Some of you are imp, empaths. You know, you're naturally connected to, you know, the energy. And you can feel other people's energies and tensions and things like that. And you know, this ain't something you conjured up. This is why you was born. And see, in your man, you be like, man, I know everybody can feel this. No, they don't. Everybody ain't connected the way you connected. I used to feel that same way. Like, I'd go in the room, somebody would be mad, y'all. And I'd be like, man, 
They might, what's going on with you? Like, I can feel the energy bouncing on and off the wall. Everybody don't, bro. Some people walk in and they be straight naive to the fact that the energy in the room is off, but you don't as a chosen one. That's a gift. Yeah. I feel like, man, uh, you need to let go of some type of past that you holding on to, man. You feel what I'm saying? Like, man, get, and, and, I, and I like when I said that I heard prepare for the future, you need to, to let go of this past uh, that, you know, you be holding on to. I, I, I feel like whoever you are, man, you got a lot of people, man, that's feeding off of your past. They could even be sending you energy to put you in the energy of like feeding off of your past. You know what I'm saying? I feel like somebody could even like such you like a spirit to make you just feel like, you know, uh, you know, you don't want to let go of your past. Every time something come up, you can't do it because of something that happened in your past. If it's something that's going on in your relationship, you don't want to let down that wall because of something that happened in your past. And I feel like it, it could be something that you either went through as well in your past, something that you did, or you could have been a certain person. And there's people out here that's trying to feed off your past. But see, once you start being the light that you meant to be, bro, that ain't gonna mean nothing. That come with being the light. It's time for you to step into your power. You got to understand these people see who it is that you are and your ability to be able to step into your power. And they trying to stop you from stepping into your power because they don't want you to be the light. You see what I'm saying? They see it. This is why they feeding on your past. To keep you stuck. To keep you in the energy of not wanting to let go of that, man. Yeah. And see, it's like you ignoring the higher power, man. It's like you, the higher power saying, step out and do what I told you to do. And you like, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> I'm afraid. It ain't the time. I ain't got, I ain't got the uh, equipment that I need. <laughs> this is the type of energy people be in. Talk to me, spirit. I feel like it, uh, something's going on with some type of like broken partnerships, man. You could be uh, dealing with like some type of broken partnership. This could be somebody that was in a partnership with you that could have been, um, you know, that doing this to you, like constantly bringing up your past, constantly bringing up past things that happen. Like, and, you know, it could have caused this union to come to a head. Like, I feel like y'all could even lost some type of st uh, stability due to this. You feel me? I feel like things just changed. Like, you know, one thing, I feel like one moment it was going great, then suddenly it's just, flipped over it's like y'all lost like some type of stability y'all lost y'all passion for one another like yeah and and i could be that there's somebody in this relationship who constantly like you know brings up the past they constantly bring up the past and y'all could have separated like we have to understand like it's, it's that i keep telling y'all we get into the law of duality or uh you know uh gestation we have to, I mean, well, duality, we have to understand that, uh, what is it, um, the law of polarity, y'all, you have to understand that it's always a bad, good, uh, scenario that's taking place. You fighting with yourself every day, bad, good, because sometimes you want to get up and go do something crazy, you know, but then, you know, sometimes I'm, that, that inner, your, your higher self evened out that, 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 that other soul that's within you that wanted you to really go crazy. You see what I'm saying? You fighting with yourself. It's all a bad, good thing. It's all about which one we allow to let uh, take control. Chosen ones, man, y'all done learned how to be, y'all, like, see, the chosen ones are like, like more empathetic, more nourishing, more caring. Why you ain't no pushover, this is what you give. You know what I'm saying? When you give, but, uh, you know, and, and when you dealing with the other people, you know, the fallen ones, they ain't that way. They totally, they like narcissists. You see what I'm saying? They operate in that type of energy. Talk to me, spirit. What up? Talk to me, spirit. What else need to know? Yeah, they operate in that type of energy. You know, narcissism in itself is a spirit. Those are the ones who be having the demonic uh, possessions. These are the ones who be shape shifting. Talk to me, spirit. What else need to know? Yeah. So, it's something going on like with this person in this relationship. I feel like kind of like, uh, will play on your past a lot, constantly bring your past up and it could have been played a major reason, played a, it could have played a major role in terms of you not wanting to step into your life and you kind of being blocked from uh, your connection with the most high, you know? And it's, it's, it's like pulling you in a position to the point of where, you know, you're not taking the heed that you're supposed to be taking from your spiritual team, you feel me? And you can't be the light, but spirit is saying it's time for you to step into your power. Don't be worrying about none of this, man, yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's like, uh, you know, I feel like, 
it's like you going against your desire when it comes to this. Or you could have lost desire for this relationship. Or somebody wants you to lose desire for your purpose, man. You feel me? Uh-huh. I feel like somebody don't want you to unlock your power. You know? Somebody don't want you to tap into who it is that you are, man. Like, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. For those of you who follow me on Facebook at I Am Awaken, man, you know I speak on how we live in the matrix, y'all. You know? This is the matrix, y'all. You feel me? And whether you want to believe it or not, man, like, you Neo in the matrix. Chosen one. You Neo in the matrix. There's people that see you. You feel me? And they don't want you to wake up to the fact that you Dio. So you can start tapping into this energy that you have. Yeah, just like you got a job to do is figure out who you is. They got their job is to stop you from doing it. As a chosen one, man, you always got a handler coming into your life to try to pause you. To stop you from getting some wins, stop you from evoluting, to stop you from waking people up during this lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me, spirit. They say maybe next lifetime, yeah. Uh, I feel like they trying to get rid of they wanna they wanna uh put that inner warrior in you at bay. Yeah. That's what they wanna do. Somebody wanna put that inner warrior in you at bay. <laughs> They don't like that, bro. They like this is what you did the game something before, huh? Yeah, and they could be speaking some type of like negative words over you. This is somebody who could be chanting over you or whatever the case may be, you know. This is somebody who could be like really, really chanting over you. That's big facts. Talk to me, spirit. Somebody could like this is what somebody could be saying as well, like. You know, people could be running around gossiping about you, making you uh, look like, you know, you basically afraid, you a cow, you not a warrior, you not chosen, you not a light being, you not a star seed. You know, this is what people could be saying, you feel me? Yeah, they don't want you to break free of something. Or you could be in the energy of where you had to really, really break free of this. Because, you know, uh, like all of this bickering, all of this person constantly throwing things in your face, you could have like, you know, yeah. You could have broke free of it. Of this, like, I want to say demonic behavior, man. Because this is what this was. I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'm feeling like whoever this person was, y'all, they was a big demon, y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. This person was a big demon. Do you see that, man? Whoever this person was, they was a big demon. Somebody say, man, look, but strong is he that is in me. <laughs> I'm telling you, because strong is he that is in me, man. You had the spirit of the most high. You. I don't care who step up against you. As long as you write this in all your endeavors, hey, can't nothing happen to you. Understand what I'm trying to tell you? And this person was a, a big demon. You were set free of this person, man, who was speaking all these uh, crazy words over you, probably doing like connecting with the devil. And like, I ain't even say the devil. I'm going to say like a dark energy, y'all, because you have to understand it's all about, uh, it's, it's a positive energy and it's a dark energy. That is the law of the universe. Talk to me, spirit. What we need to know? It's crazy, man. Yeah, like you had to get away from all of that conflict, that riffraff, the arguing, the fighting. You know, uh, the, the, I feel like you being targeted. Mm hmm. I feel like you got away from this. Talk to me. Yeah. Because I feel like you ended up losing your desire for it. <laughs> and we know how that can get, bro. Like, you know. How long are you going to be in that energy of somebody trying to get down on you? You knowing they're trying to get down on you. You trying to convince them that uh, you with them, you rocking with them, and it's a better way. Man, how long are you going to stay in that energy? Man, at some point, you know, your ancestral team going to step in and say, look, we're going to take care of this one for you, man. So now we got to call the tower in your life to the point of where you breaking down. You losing everything. Talk to me, spirit. Yeah, I feel like, man, this person is trying to distract you, man. This somebody who wanted, like, you, or, or you could have seen, like, you know, that this person was trying to distract you, man. They were trying to cause some type of, like, storm in your life to distract you. Yeah, but see, I, I feel like they, they was going against some type of, like, divine order when it comes to this. Because, like I say, as a chosen one, man, like, when I say healer, man, I mean, like, you somebody that really has a healing energy to you. And it ain't because you actually going out and you're healing somebody via like medicine or you have healing hands. No, you have healing words. You have a healing touch. You have like just a healing energy in general. You see what I'm saying? So you can like you, you look, you heal people through just ins inspiration. You know what I'm saying? 
just to see you go through something, even your ops watching you go through something, right? The same very people who's attacking you and seeing you get through it and getting through it in the way that you did, the same ones that thought you would never be strong. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 uh inspire them. You inspire them to be like you. Spirit, what do we need to know about this, man? Okay. I want to know what it is about this uh uh cause spirit say be the light, man. What do we need to know about this? This be the light card, spirit. Yeah, it's time for you to step into your power. That's the energy that I'm really, really getting off of this, man. Talk to me, Spirit. Come on now, Spirit. Yeah, I feel like uh, somebody is going to come in and try to make you some type of offer, man. This could be some type of money. Or so, yeah, I feel like this person could have been paid to do something like this. You feel me? We have to understand these type of things is going on. Okay? I feel like this person... Uh, it's, it's seeing you from a different like perspective though. Whoever this person that was paid to come in and do something, man, I feel like this person is really seeing you from a different perspective, man. They because they're being made to look at you a different way. I don't feel like this person sees you the way that these people see you that paid them to come in or that's talking crazy about you. They see you more of like the light. You know what I'm saying? This somebody who like probably sat down, and watched you, studied you, and like, man, oh no, nah, hell no, nah. this is a good person. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, this is somebody, man, who was like, I don't know if this is somebody who was like trying to get initiated into something, man, and, and they, they couldn't get initiated in it. But I do feel like this is somebody, man, who was a part of like some type of cult. It is something that's going on with it. Now, it could have been a cult that could have been, you know, attacking you. Because I keep telling you, man, like when you get to the darker side of things, man, these are more darker spirits that want to attack you to drain you of your energy and things like that, okay? It's real. Like energy vampires and things like that, okay? They could have been a part of like some type of dark hole. Yeah, and I feel like they was doing this, man, to, to gain some type of like fulfillment because you have to understand, you are the light. Like, I keep telling you, ain't no, the most high ain't make too many like you. Okay? And I do feel like whoever this person was, man, like, they was giving like, I keep telling you, like, this, this major fool, y'all. Whoever this was, they could have been trying to take you out through like major food objects, drinks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this could be somebody who like to drink themselves, man. They could like to wear bonnets and, you know, yeah. Whoever this person is, man. Yeah, I feel like uh, this is some type of family, y'all. This could be like a, a like a family conflict or it could have been like, and I'm telling you, I try to like, this could be like inheritance, some type of destiny. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. They didn't want you to celebrate something. Yeah, they wanted to cause like an imbalance when it came to like you receiving that. And look, that's how spirit wanted it to come out. Talk to me, spirit. They attacked you, bro. And they paid somebody, but this person, y'all, is not looking at you like that, no, like that right now. They looking at you like, man, look, this dude or, or she, she the really the truth. She a sweetheart. She don't be doing that. Nothing. Talk to me, spirit. <clears throat> what was this person paid for? <laughs> Clarify the other nine cups for me. This person was paid for something. Clarify this nine cups for me, spirit. Come on, spirit. I don't, don't want to tell no long story. I don't want to tell no long story today, spirit. Yeah. This the uh. Oh my God! Give me a second. My car is a little flip flop. But yeah, whoever this person is, man, they they was they're part of some type of like dark group, y'all. This somebody who was like, and I feel like this is like somebody who could be like somebody, it could be a male, y'all. And this this somebody like who practices witchcraft. That's the energy I'm getting. And I feel like whoever this person was. <clears throat> they was doing something with your food, okay? They was most definitely doing something with your food. And they could have, somebody could have went and got this from them. 
somebody who paid this person to do something. Okay. Yeah, I do feel like they they brought they went and brought this from somebody. This this hair fit. And it was something that was supposed to go on your food. And it was supposed to like put you in the imbalance when it comes to like some type of inheritance or some type of like, you know, fortune that you supposed to gain, whether it be somebody left it behind or not. <clears throat> yeah, this is somebody like who uh lost something. I cannot lie, they wanted you to lose something, or they want they lost something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't make it up, Spirit. What we need? We're gonna dig into this. What is it that they lost, Spirit? What is it that they lost? Yeah, this is somebody who lost like some type of like money, a large amount of money, and this is somebody who was greedy. I feel like they tried to run off with this. This is somebody who was trying to like, this is somebody who was trying to run off with it more so, excuse me. I'm getting a little hoarse. Yeah, I feel like they could have uh, wanted some type of like new beginnings with this. This is somebody who, who, who tried to take something from you that they wanted to be like, it was supposed to be a new beginning for you, but they wanted it for themselves. Mm. Yeah. I feel like this is somebody, man, who... They could have, bro, they could have tried to underlive you. I ain't playing like, this energy that came out, yeah, this is somebody, man, who was like attacking you. They were trying to call you some like maids a lot. Look at this. They wanted to put you in that casket, man. I'm not lying to you. Somebody really wanted to get down uh, on you over this. They wanted to knock you off. Make no mistake. They, I feel like their goal was to like give you some type of like nightmares. This is how crazy they went. But I feel like you brought some type of balance to the situation. Some balance came to this situation. Yeah, they was doing this for greed, y'all, and they didn't get what they was uh, out of it. What they was, what this person was doing it for. Whoever this person is. Yeah, that, that moon magic that was causing illusions. All that was going on, y'all. And I feel like this is somebody who, like, lost something. Okay? Spirit, what do we need to know? What was this person, like, paid to do? I want to know what this person was, was paid for. Which I already told y'all what they was paid for. They was really paid to, uh, they, they brought something from this person. Okay? And this was a male practitioner that they brought it from. Something that they could like, you know, hit your, hit your, hit your drinks and things with. Talk to the spirit, what we need to know? What else we need to know? Yeah, this is one of those. Look, what I say, pour something that's like, look, what I like, with that coming out, they brought something to pour in your, in your stuff. They had some type of like faith that that was gonna work. Talk to me, Spirit. What we need to know? Yeah, I feel like uh, the cause you to like move on or something like this. And I feel like, man, uh, these people could look. Somebody could want to come in and ask you for some type of forgiveness for this. They got to be out there, man. <clears throat> How do you ask somebody forgiveness for this? That's crazy. Whether you believe it or not, we already in the forgave you. Just keep it pushing. Yeah, I feel like this person worked hard though. This person was working hard, y'all. And I feel like uh, at this point, they unable to move forward. Yeah, this, I can't, what I say? This is a hairpin. This is a, a dark practitioner. Okay? He's unable to move forward. <clears throat> or they're unable to move forward, whoever this person is, man. This could be somebody that's a part of like some type of religious cult. Yeah. And I feel like, man, um, this is somebody who's like, they feeling lost when it comes to this situation. That's big facts. What else we need to know, Spirit? Because like I say, this is somebody who's trying to disconnect you from the higher power. <clears throat> yeah. It's something that, uh, about this partnership, y'all, they kind of like feel. Like, I feel like this woman in this partnership with this man, one of them was, uh, kind of feeding off of your, like, uh, past. Like, whenever you would, like, get up and you would try to go or something. Let me get some water, y'all. Give me a second. 
like whenever you would like try to go right and, and, and get up and like do something to the point of where you would accomplish things in your life this person would like try to tear you down i feel like this was like a tool to get you in like a lower vibrational frequency to the point of where whatever you know they said you will begin to feel and you will stop doing or having that for emotion okay so this person would kind of like just dog you out and feed on your path talk to me spirit what do we need to know about this man what do we need to know about this partnership card Mm -hmm. But see, you got to stand in your power. Somebody say, I'm standing in my power, man. If you standing in your power, say you standing in your power, man. It's somebody you had a union with, man. And I don't know why. Whenever I get this card, y'all, it just give me father, son vibes. I feel like that's just, you know, this, this is like self-explanatory. This is giving me like father, son vibes, man. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is somebody you had some type of union with. When we talk about partnerships, it ain't always, you know, that I feel like uh, this person was was trying to stop some type of new beginning from, uh, from coming in when it comes uh, up to you. Okay? Yeah, this is somebody who was trying to stop some type of new beginning from coming in. Yeah, I feel like, uh, and, and, and I feel like you was relieved from this. At one point, you could have been like worried about things going wrong in your life too. You know, this could have worked. Like, you could have been going through, like, I'm seeing somebody, you could have possibly been even having, like, some headaches as well. Somebody could have had some, like, some headaches. Yeah, from this person attacking you. Okay. You could have had some headaches. Look, this person was attacking you. But I do feel like, like, somehow you got uh, relieved of this. You could be just now overcoming this. This is somebody you was in a relationship with. Yeah, this person was trying to cause like a towel in your life, man. They wanted like, I feel like whoever this person was, man, look, and that's, uh, that's validation. I feel like whoever this person was, man, they were trying to like uh, shoot some type of mental magic towards you to the point of where you would just like begin to lose everything around you. You see what I'm saying? This somebody who wanted to lose, wanted to, to lose everything around you. This somebody who sent you mirror magic. I mean, not mirror magic, but uh, uh, they sent you uh, chaos magic. Excuse me. Yeah, and mental magic. So they, I feel like they came for your uh, crown. This somebody, like, if you like was going through it lately in terms of like just having a double man, this is most definitely for you, you know, because that's the energy that this person wanted you in to the point of where you were just confused. You didn't know what you would do to the point of where you was like lazy, lacking the energy to the point where you start to lose everything. This the energy that this person wanted you in. You see what I'm saying? Where you would start arguing and fighting, like if you found yourself just out the blue getting into it with anybody, this is the, I'm telling you, this is for you. Yeah, to cause an imbalance. Like this is somebody, right, who wanted your finances to fall as well, y'all. They wanted your finances to fall as well. That's how you get a motherfucker, ain't right? you, you fuck with their mental. Then what you do, you hit their pockets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how you gonna tap in then? Especially if you ain't focused, if you ain't meditating, you ain't, how you gonna tap in? Right now, you you too worried about how you gonna pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, you don't know what's going on. You think it's just a kawinky thing. <laughs> but this is somebody I feel like that has some type of union with you, man. Like, it don't specifically have to be like a, a, a partner that we would consider to be intimate, an intimate partner, maybe a wife or girlfriend or something like that. It don't have to be that, okay? This could be an instance to where it's like it's a it's a union, maybe like a parenthood. Some type of parent, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, maybe like, I'm getting like, this was somebody who was a parent. Talk to me, Spirit. Can we get down to the nitty gritty of this parent? What do we need to know about this union right here? What type of, I want to know what type of union this was, man. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who uh has made some type of decision like to come towards you, okay? And they literally sat down and did this, y'all. Yeah, I feel like, this somebody who could be who could see you as like some type of like entrepreneur as well, but I do feel like um, this is somebody who could probably who's probably like this is a player a, a player type man. I ain't gonna even lie to you, man. I feel like you turned your back on this person, man. I feel like this is the leader of somebody too that's planning on like coming towards you, or whoever this person is planning uh, on coming towards you. They being watched by somebody who's in the leader. This could be somebody like it's, it's about some type of like business, man. I feel like. It's something about this person being left out in the cold or going through some type of hardship. Yeah, this person's having like a lot of self-doubt right now. You know what I'm saying? They're experiencing a lot of self-doubt. 
Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Like I said, like, 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 you know who this person is? This is like a mother. This is like a mother, a stepmother. This is somebody, y'all, a stepmother, a mother, a mother-in-law, a baby mother. Put it where it fit. This is who this is. I can't make it up. Like, when you get into it, y'all, this is the energy of it all, y'all. I feel like whoever this person was, man, they was doing some type of conjuring. Somebody got an evil-ass mama, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> Somebody got an evil mama, man. And it's sad to say, but that's how it be set up, man. That be that family demon that's embedded in that person, y'all. Somebody mother was conjuring up something, y'all. Okay? And I do feel like this person is watching you. Like, they could be thinking about, like, taking some type of, like, uh step towards you. You feel me? Because I don't know who this person is, man. This is somebody who could be, like... Like, they could be on the uh, edge of, like, having some type of poverty come their way. You know what I'm saying? They could be isolated or they could want to isolate you. Whoever this person is, they could, like, it could be possible that they could be feeling, like, very weak. And it's all about some type of magic that was conjured up, y'all. This mom, this mother was been conjuring, y'all. And I ain't gonna lie, it don't surprise me because when we get into, like, ages, man, and we get into, like, the history, you know, you'll be surprised what the, the stuff people was, uh, grew up on that was, like, right in front of your face, but you didn't know what it was at the time. You'll be surprised, you know? You ain't paying no attention. You a kid, you just running past, you know? you The little things that a person's telling you to do, out of little, you know, out of just, you like, okay, well, that's just superstition. Whole time, this is how they grew up. This is things that they really believed in, and this is the thing, things that they stand on. Like, you never know. Somebody got a mother, man, that was, man, she really evil. Somebody got a, a baby mama or somebody, okay? Whoever this person is, uh, I don't know. Let me see what it is that I want to... Yeah, I feel like, and like, like I said, this was some type of relationship, man. This is somebody, man, who, uh, I feel like they was trying to cause you a lot of conflict, man, but, you know, uh, you had to, you got away from it. You know? Like, and you don't, whoever this is, you, you no longer even, the, uh, like, you don't even, like, uh, desire this person anymore. Let's talk about these power spirits. What is it that they didn't want the collective to unlock? Oh, let me go on back over here, man. Like, they ain't want the collective to unlock something. What they ain't want the collective to, un to unlock? I'm telling you, they ain't want you to know who it was that you were, man. Yeah, the Seven of Swords, man. They ain't want you to unlock, man, you know, who it is that you are. You feel me? Somebody was being very scheming and conniving. They was trying to steal something, too, y'all. This somebody who's trying to steal something, too. Like, whoever this is, man, it's somebody that's plotting on you, man. Yeah, somebody plotting on you very heavy, too. Because they don't want you to unlock these powers. Yeah, they don't want you to unlock these powers, so they plotting on you, man. Yeah, this is somebody, man, who's trying to cause you to lose out on some type of opportunity, man. And I'm getting like, this is somebody who, like, could have stole something, and they could have left something behind, to be honest, man. This is somebody who stole something. I don't know why. They, whatever they left back for you, they wanted you to have. And I, I feel like it's like a little... Plot twist to it. Talk to me, Spirit. What else do need to know? Yeah. What else do need to know? Yeah, this is someone who ain't learning from their past. But they, this is a group of people, man, who is not learning from like this. They, they like, that's why I say this is somebody who's been stealing for you for a long time. Plotting on you for a long time. Yeah, I feel like, you know. Some type of light is about to get ready to be shined on this. This person could be coming towards you right now. So I, now, whoever this person is, I feel like this is somebody, man, who you could be wounded and this person still trying to attack you. This person still trying to attack you. This, I'm going to keep this one. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody, man, who like, bro, somebody could be putting you in the cauldron, man. Uh, trying to whip up something. Somebody was trying to whip up something, y'all. Them and somebody else. It's two people just trying to, like, whip something up. And it, I feel like, like, it goes back to, like, these drinks and shit like that. Whatever it is, somebody didn't want, like, they was doing this to cause you to be in a state of, like, nothingness, you know? This could be somebody that wanted you to heavily drink, smoke, do those type of things, man, to keep you in, like, a state of nothingness to the point of where, like, you know, you weren't able to unlock that inner God, the goddess that's within you, your inner strength, your gifts. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that was in that type of energy. Talk to me, spirit. Yeah, I feel like this is a troublemaker. This is somebody, man, who was, like, very deceiving as well. 
This is somebody who's being like very dishonest about something. Talk to me, spirit. I don't even feel like, man, this is somebody probably, you, you probably didn't even see this coming, man. Somebody caught these people doing this, y'all. They're afraid of something, too. They're afraid of them. I feel like you probably caught these people. You know something. They got these people afraid, man. This could be doing dealing with some type of like justice situation. Because this is a judgment call. I feel like two people got caught. And they're they afraid. There's something that's going on with court. Yeah. I feel like they was being like very dishonest in court, y'all. It's to look, why did I say justice? Right along with the judgment card, man. Justice and ju uh, judgment. These people got caught for something, y'all. And I feel like it's a decision that's made. Oh, my God. I cannot make this up, y'all. Look. Y'all see this? Yeah. Now that I'm telling y'all, they, man, they in trouble right now, bro. These people finna go to jail, man. Somebody dropped. They finna get ready to go to jail, man. It's somebody right now that's afraid right now, y'all. These group of people that's been attacking you. I can't make it up. Whoever this person is that was in this union, man, that 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 went through all this, bro, I'm telling you. Uh, and I say, I feel like it's like heavy mother vibes, y'all. Heavy mother vibes, y'all. It's something going on. It's two people, though, that's got a court situation going on. And they afraid about something uh, in court. And I do feel like it was a decision that was made. Look, the judge ain't lying. Y'all think the judge ain't playing? It was a decision that was made when it came to this. Yes, it was. <laughs> Let me see. What, what we need to know about this two of wands, it, it was a decision that was made. And I feel like that decision wasn't on their behalf. Talk to me, Spirit. What do we need to know about this two of wands? It was most definitely a decision that was made when it comes to some paperwork. It was some documents, y'all, I feel like that was saying. Talk to me, Spirit. Yeah. I told y'all, man, somebody lost that. This, this man is, man, look. Bro, come on, Spirit, with this money. <clears throat> We show sure waiting on it. <laughs> Somebody said we wait on it. Somebody said we show sure wait on it because we wait on it. We wait on it, man. Come on with this money, man. Come on with this inheritance. Y'all done lost it. Y'all done tried everything I can. Come on with it. Talk to me, Spirit. What else we need to know about this? It was a decision that was made, man. They they didn't lose this. They lost this money with the justice uh card and, and uh, inheritance. They thought that they was gonna get some type of wish fulfillment when it came to this. This is over with. Like, and, and, and I want y'all to understand, bro. It, it was some type of decision that was made in this courtroom. Okay? It was a decision that was made in this courtroom concerning some type of money, some type of inheritance, some type of big ass paper. Understand what I'm trying to tell you. Now, if you've been watching me, you know that uh it was like almost like Somebody had forged some type of paperwork that's been coming up, okay? Whoever this person is, y'all, they lost this money, and that was the final decision that was made with the two of wands coming out in this courtroom. This judge that you see sitting right here, men lie, women lie, spirit don't lie, made a final decision when it comes to this inheritance. Uh, this inheritance. And with the justice card coming out in the reverse, it didn't go on their on side. Talk to me, spirit. Yeah, I'm talking about it's all type of stuff coming out on court of these people. There's got to be some big money. They had to, I'm telling you, you had to be like some type of detective. Yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, man, this is like, this is a group of like friends, family, a group of people, y'all, that overindulged in something heavy, okay? Something that they invested in. And they've been doing it for a long time. This is something that's been going on for, for a long time. Well, whoever I'm talking to. Talk to me, Spirit. Yeah, this has been going on for a long time with you. Uh-huh, they was very cold, bitter. Like, these people, didn't, they, they ain't let up off of you. They ain't let up off of you. Because they been they was trying to get this investment the whole time. They invested in getting rid of you so that they can get this. It was already documents, y'all, that came out that was already signed, y'all. So somebody got caught up for fraud. Then I believe that they put a detective on them, y'all, to the point of where they started to follow them around, okay? Because this paperwork started to get false. Okay, well, what's going on? And then we know about the, uh, you know, a fake death certificate did pop up, y'all. 
you know, I've been hearing that in the uh, in the collective as well, uh, not just for me, but in the collective, to the point of where I feel like somebody could even lie and say that you transition. You know, they could have made up some type of paperwork, uh, created some type of fraud, got some type of money of yours, and I do feel like whoever this person is, man, they had some type of, like, I done had videos where they show me off, but whoever this person is, they going down. They going down, but it's a final decision that's been made, y'all. Uh, show us that paper, Spirit. But with that being said, if anything I said, man, resonated with you in any way, form, or fashion, do not hesitate to pound up that like button, man. Also, if you can, go ahead, donate to the channel. All donations will go back to the growth of the channel, and you could do so by leaving super stickers, man. All right? And if you need a ring because anything resonated with you, man, go down to the description box and email me at the email address that's in the description box. Leave your name, your number. The best time to reach out on you. And if we don't get it done that day, we can most definitely book a day to get some insight on your situation, man. I'm telling you, it feels better to know. That's big facts. And with that being said, man, look, I want to thank my spiritual team for coming forth and giving us this information the same way they give to us every night, man, with a little twist. Yeah. Uh, and, and I ask the most high, continuously bless them, all right? And I just want to leave y'all as I can. I want you guys to always... Always be aware because to be aware is to be alive. <clears throat> and as always, peace, family. Peace, many positive energy. Always create elevation. I say, I say, I say.